sunset another beautiful day out here on the west coast um, we're set up to do some evening late night work both for the both for the client um, both for big dog motorcycles working on this clothing line and also trying to finish up a YouTube video tonight I go to bed early I get up early so we'll see how much I can get done but let me just show you what's going on here this is uh, we've been doing this for about 10 months now I didn't have Wi-Fi for the first two or three months, which uh, made things a little rough. So this is this is the real deal. I've got stuff out. You know, it's easy to clean and get cluttered. So Bluetooth speaker, decaf coffee, laptop, dinner back there, sleeping stuff. You know, pretty small, pretty basic, but the weather's perfect. The views are perfect. I'm free of distractions. I'm not stuck in a cubicle. You know, when I was when I was working at the factory at Big Dog Motorcycles, it really reminded me where I sat was like uh, it was like in school suspension in a corner in a room with no light, no decorations. And I can tell you I'm dramatically more productive and creative in environments like this that allow me to access the parts of my brain and my creativity that I need and do it throughout the day so that my brain gets a break, my creativity gets a break. I'm not just, you know, sometimes when I needed to make some money for these guys, I would just go back and sandblast. And you can just do that for eight hours. That's just production. But when I'm problem solving and working with tech support and using a bunch of different elements of creativity, you know, there's maybe I've got two, three, four hours, usually three, three and a half hours of really good focus time. And then I've got to get away from it for a while. And then I get another two or three hours out and then I get away from it. And then I get another two or three hours out. It just doesn't work in the traditional office setting. But I get more done. And, and like I've said in a lot of my channels, I'm either working or working out. I'm working for Big Dog Motorcycles. I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm working the evening job, evening job, the weekend job down on the beach. I'm working out. I don't watch TV. I don't play video games. If I'm consuming content, it's something to help me develop and evolve and either get better at a skill or become a better person in one way or another. So, you know, if we change our mindset, I think we can change our outcome. And I hope you guys follow along with me on this journey uh, because there's a lot of cool stuff to come, you know. I've really truly found that, that belief in myself that I had like when I was a child or even in college when I was, I was like, hey, let me go get the biggest, craziest motorcycle I can and then I'm going to go be a stunt rider and then I'm going to go ride with the world champion and I'm going to hang out with MTV producers and I'm going to get in DVDs. And I, How did I do that? Because I didn't let anybody tell me I couldn't. And then you start getting into the real world. Everybody says, hey, okay, you got to trade your hours for dollars. You got, you've got to follow this path. And guess what? It's 2024. The path that used to work doesn't work anymore. So what am I going to do? Work longer and harder just to get less and less and still end up with no retirement and die in poverty? No, I'm going to figure out how to use my skills, my skills and my assets, and I'm going to do what it takes to build something amazing and have a positive impact on this world. And a big part of that will be helping men, maybe helping all people, but definitely helping men get sober and fit, especially men going through divorce, breakup, and loss. And this is just a small part of the story that I will be so proud to look back on someday.